Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be installing Windows 10 in VirtualBox. This is basically an updated tutorial from two years ago when I uploaded a video on how to install it. So uh, this should be pretty straightforward. So let's begin. Um, there's going to be a couple links in the description. One for VirtualBox and then one for a direct link to Microsoft's website for the download of Windows 10 to get the ISO. Um, so we're going to open up VirtualBox here and we're going to make a new Windows 10 machine and it's automatically going to select 64 bit for you. They do have a 32 bit, I guess, but I don't see a lot of people using that. So just do 64 bit, I guess, and then click next. And uh, there's already a folder, so I'll just call it Windows 10 64 bit. I don't know where that was from. Um, you can bump this up if you would like. I'm going to bump it up to. Four, oops, four gigs of memory and click next and we're going to create our virtual hard drive which is 32 gigs but it will not make it 32 gigs like for real uh, and then you go to storage and you insert that Windows 10 ISO that you could have or you've downloaded maybe of your own disk I'm not really sure what there could be but uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert that. This is the Pro Edition 64-bit. And we're going to start up the virtual machine here. And it's going to load it up. Here you got the boot screen for Windows 10. And there is the pop-up there that comes up. Sorry about that. I just have to... God, can't do it. Okay. So here you select your language and keyboard layout. Click Next. And then click Install Now. And it's going to start the setup here. Let me go ahead and make this full screen. And it's going to ask for a product key, but you can skip this by clicking skip. Or you can enter one in if you so choose. Then go ahead and accept the license terms and click next. And then click custom. And then click this unallocated space and click next. And it's going to start with the installation process here. So this can take a little bit of time, but just let it sit and it'll do it all for you. And I'll be back either on the one of the next restart points or when we get to the next part of setup where it's asking for some certain settings. Okay, so after a little bit of getting devices ready and reboots, uh, it's going to ask for a product key again. Uh, you can do this later. Uh, you don't have to put one in. Um, then do express settings. And it's going to say just a moment. And sometimes it would be better with Windows 10 to have a Microsoft account but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to create probably a local account or I could just use my email. But you can do either one where you can create a local account or you can create uh, you can create a new Microsoft account if you do not have one already. Or you can log into an existing one. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. It really It's not going to be your main machine, so it may not be worth it to have a Microsoft account anyway. But it's... I know, uh, display a couple messages here for you and I think it's already going to set up an account for you which is going to be a local account and then eventually you can change it into a Microsoft account so um, just let this uh, sit here for a little bit and it's going to do some updating and installing of things and then it will finish that up so I'll be right back once that's done okay so eventually this screen will pop up that says who owns this PC you're going to want to click I own it and click next I think it might make you do a Microsoft no you can skip it okay so we're gonna we're gonna skip it you can enter in a Microsoft account if you would like but I'm gonna skip that and just do a local user I'm just gonna call it everything epan click next without a password um, you can add one if you'd like but you do not have to have one I mean, this isn't your main PC, so I mean, I don't, there's nothing really to access on it, but. May take a little bit 
for it to load. There we go. It's, and then it'll say just a moment. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and it should pop up with more setup instructions. I think it'll say like. I'm, I'm honestly not sure, but it can take a little bit there. It's going to log you into your account. It will uh, come up with the uh, welcome type thing that it does, setting things up for you. So this can take just a little bit of time. Um, so it says it won't take long, so it's going to set up your apps and do all this other stuff. So I'll be right back once we uh, get to the desktop. All right, so here we are at the desktop, and it's going to pop up with this network screen. Um, it's going to ask if you want to be discoverable. Just you can click yes. Uh, so we're at the desktop now of Windows 10, so that means you've successfully installed it. So that is how to install Windows 10 in VirtualBox updated tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed, it, and leave your comment ideas for ideas for future videos down below and do not forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video